The feeling of absolute joy and triumph after winning a tournament can only really be matched by the painful defeat of coming in second place. Even the best players in the world have had their share of crushing losses, but for these players, it's happened more than most. Here are the five most runner-up finishes in LOL history. Number five. He may only be number five on the list, but score is at the very top when it comes to the most heartbreaking, gut-wrenching runner-up finishes. Six of his seven second place finishes came with a world's berth on the line, and three came down to heartbreaking losses in a decisive fifth game. Tigers fighting for their tournament life here, fighting for perhaps their team life. Baron taken. Oh, it's taken by Smep! Oh! Smep stole the Baron! Smep stole the Baron! They're going after Fly now! And Rock Tigers turning it around! Hachani Solo! That's two kills! It? That's two oh, kills for Smep! Unbelievable! Score has been playing since 2012 and regarded as one of the best junglers in the world the last couple of seasons, but he's only been to one world championship. Number four. Playing with pain since 2011, Kami is the longest tenured player with a single team, so he's bound to have racked up a few second place finishes. Maybe the most devastating loss for Kami and Payne was to Gaming Gear EU back in 2013 at the Season 3 World Championship Qualifier. Kami still has four titles to go along with eight second place finishes, so he has broken the streak a few times and is one of the most beloved Brazilians in the scene. Number 3. The more tournaments you play in, the more opportunities to finish second, and Soaz has played in a whole lot of tournaments. His first major runner-up finish came on against all authority against his future Fnatic team at the Season 1 World Championship. Despite losing the Grand Finals, he and future Fnatic teammate Yellowstar combined for a legendary moment in League of Legends history. Cyanide falls is Ramis, and it is going to be two down, and that one is Malzahar also went down. Fnatic, it looks like they are going to lose a double, and Ashushi goes down, and coming across was the Ash Arrow, a beautiful job. She is all the way down in middle for against all authority, and they are going to turn that fight around. Number two. Now it's a little unfair to put Xpeke so high on the list because a lot of his second place finishes came in seasons one and two and weren't really high pressure games, but he's still been a bridesmaid 10 times. Although he has won 14 titles and is regarded as one of the most iconic EU players of all time, so don't feel too bad for the guy. Number one. While a lot of ex Peke's runner-ups may not have come at important, high-stake events, number one on our list is the total opposite. Uzi is a two-time runner-up at Worlds, the only player to achieve that feat, and domestically has finished in second place in three consecutive LPL finals. The Chinese AD carry is regarded as one of the best players of all time, and deservedly so, but the only events that Uzi has actually won are three all-star 1v1 events and the 2017 all-star finals with the LPL squad. Despite all the difficult losses, there's no denying his talent. Oh, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.